Paige, I'm on my cell phone and, and I'm trying to get into the meeting, but it says you're in another meeting. I hear you. Just wait, Nana. You're in the waiting room. Waiting room? No, I'm not. I'm, I, I'm at home. It's for privacy. Here, I'll let you in. If you say so. And see, you're in. I can hear you. Can you see me? Oh, yeah, I can see you. <laughs> um, I still can't see you yet. You need to turn your camera around. Um, click the circling arrows. Where is that? What? At the top of your screen on the left. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> Yay, no, you did it. It takes a PhD in computer science to figure this stuff out. I just wish I could send messages from my brain to the computer. Maybe telepathic messages to get it to do what I want. Oh, oh Nana. Well, at least you made it to our meeting. So how are you doing? Oh, sweetie. Not so great. That's great. What's going on? Since early March, over two months, your mother won't le let me leave the house because of COVID-19. Two months. Not even for groceries? No, I have to make a detailed list and your uncle gets my groceries. Ugh. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Well, it's not. When I put asparagus on the list, he bought the most expensive organic asparagus that cost $20 for two pounds. I couldn't believe it. Oh. And when I asked for spaghetti noodles, he bought gluten-free pasta. I have never heard of gluten-free pasta and I'm not even gluten intolerant and I bet it tastes terrible. Mom just wants you to be okay doesn't want anything to happen to you. Oh, she calls me every day asking, did you take your temperature? Do you have a cough? Can you taste your food? Every day she calls. She's worried about you and your safety. Hmm, I'm safe all right, but I'm not sane. I think I'm losing it. You know how I tell you not to swear? Well, I never swear but I was ordering a baby gift, a Pat the Bunny stuffed animal like the one I gave you when you were born. Oh, I love that Pat the Bunny. Oh, I still have it. It's so soft and squishy. Well, the internet wanted me to buy it through Facebook and I didn't want to buy it through Facebook. And then it wanted me to use Google to buy it. And I never buy through Google. I said to myself, all I want is to buy a... I almost used the F word. I'll pat the bunny. This COVID thing makes me crazy. Oh, Nana. And your grandpa makes me want to hit my forehead with a cookie sheet. His <laughs> slippers are slush, slush, shushing on the floor at breakfast. Now that never used to bother me, but it's annoying me now. Really annoying me. It's just so weird. Eh. Yeah, the little things that used to not bother me, they're really getting to me now. Oh. I mean, my boyfriend on the phone, I mean, he used to be so funny and now, now he's just being stupid. And I, I can't see any of my grandchildren, not, not even the newest grandbaby. You know, little Sarah, only one month old. I just want to hold her. It just hurts my heart. It really hurts. <laughs> And Mother's Day, don't even get me started. Then I start, I start thinking about all the people who have it worse than I do. No job, no money, no food, or, or they're sick in the hospital. And oh, I shouldn't be complaining. I shouldn't be telling you all this. You have enough to worry about. How are you getting along? Not so good, Nana. Oh. I hate online classes. Digital learning, they call it. I miss my teachers. I liked when they would give me reassurance and support. Now I'm losing track of assignments. I can't even ask them questions until later. And then I can't even remember what I wanted to ask. 
Well, well, can you can you email them? Yeah, but it's not the same. And our Wi-Fi isn't all that great either. Sometimes I fade in and out, it crashes, and then I have to start over. Or somebody else in the house is on their computer, and it makes for problems. Then Jamie plays video games so loud, I can't find a quiet place to study. I, I don't even know what day it is. Oh, sweetie, sweetie, this won't last forever. Oh, but it's my senior year. I'm missing everything. The prom, the school musical, and I'd been waiting for four years to have a lead role. The awards assembly, graduation, the all-night party, all of this, and it will never happen again. I know. I, I know, it, it's terrible, and I, I just feel so bad for you. Oh, and plus, and this is the worst part, I can't even hang out with my friends. It's draining, it's it's overwhelming, I, I miss being with them, it's just... Oh, oh so honey, I, I know it's hard. Missing the last days of high school with your friends. Oh, and, and I miss my friends too. <sighs> I miss you too. I mean, my friend Emma, her mother saw some friends, but they were outdoors and wearing masks and, and sitting six feet apart. Um, thinking, I'm wondering if, could we, I mean, do you think, could we see each other? Like in person? Oh, not if your mother has anything to say about it. I'm imprisoned here like a like an inmate. I mean, I could talk to her. She's always liked that we were so close and all, but um, maybe about getting together? Maybe she would let me get out of the house if we met in a park or something, just to see you, just the two of us. Well, when? Oh, any time is fine with me. Mm. How about Friday? Ah, oh, Friday would be perfect. If your mother says no, I'm going to make a break for it. I am leaving this house no matter what. <laughs> okay, Nana, calm down. It's like your mother put me in timeout. I'm not sleeping. I'm sorting stupid light bulbs. My hair, well, I look like a raccoon or a skunk with white stripes, and I, I haven't seen my hairdresser in months. It'll be okay, Nana. If mom says no, let's plan our escape. We'll meet at the park, the one you used to take me to, and stay six feet apart, wear our masks. Oh, it'll be so good to see you, even though we can't hug but at least we'll be together for a little while. Oh, and I, I sure hope we can get permission, but we've got plan B, don't we? We sure do. I'm finally starting to get the hang of this Zoom thing, I think. P Paige, it was so good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too. I love that mom let us meet in person and everything. Oh, it was hard though, because I just wanted to give you a hug so badly. Me too. Well, at least we got to be together. Yeah. Now, there's something else I have to do. What? At the end of May, May 29th to be exact, when George Floyd was murdered. I can't stop thinking about all the black men and women who've been killed by the police. And well, I've just had it, I've had it. Oh, I know, Nana. All those lives lost, ugh, it makes me sick to my stomach. And watching that video, hmm. So yeah, but what did you say? You have to do something? Yes. I have to join the protest. The protests? No, no, y you, you can't. I'm going to the Black Lives Matter March, the one this Saturday, June 13th. No, Nana, no. 
Well, why not? I marched in the civil rights movement when you're, I was your age and I can do this. It's dangerous now. You could get COVID. Well, I'll wear my mask. The, the police, they're, they're using tear gas. I'll be careful. They wouldn't fire on an old woman in her 60s. They've been firing on nonviolent protesters. They don't care what your age is. It'll be okay. No, it won't. The police are using less lethal weapons now. Like rubber bullets, which are just wider than regular bullets. And people are getting hurt really bad. I mean, a journalist lost his eye. Hmm. Hmm. Well, police will warn us so that we can leave if we need to. Oh, I don't know about that. The police overreact to even a thrown water bottle. They start firing bean bags filled with buckshot. One guy got hit in his privates. Oh, Paige, I, I have to do this. It's way past time for change. <sighs> well, I was already planning to go to the march with Tanisha and Gabby. Hmm. Well, do you think mom will even let you do this? You know, it's time for me to do what's right. I'm doing it. I'm going to the protest and it'll be our little secret. Well, since I'll be there, you can come with me. We can meet up with Tanisha and Gabby and march together. Thanks, and I've got my sign too. See? End white silence. I like that. Perfect. I like it too. Well, we'll look at mine. Police, terror, and violence is also a virus. Oh, look at that one over there. Oh, 82 black men and boys killed by cops. It has all their names. Boy, that makes it really personal. Oh. It gets your attention, yeah. Mm. I'll text Tanisha that we're here. Mm. Um, we'll just meet him in a few blocks. Black lives matter! Black, Black lives, lives matter! matter. Black. Uh, oh! The, the police, they're, they're telling us to get back! To get back. But, but where can we go? There's no place to go. The police are walking towards us. Uh, oh, they're coming behind us and, and well, they're, we better they're, get they're, they're just pushing people, knocking them over. <sighs> okay, we better get out of here. Um, but where's Tanisha and, and Gabby? Oh, I don't know the police. Oh. Oh, come. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. We have nowhere to go. Oh. Come with me. Uh, grab my hand. L let's uh, climb this embankment. Oh, my eyes. My eyes. I, I can't see. I'm... <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> You're after stance. Oh. <sighs> I can barely see either. Uh, oh, hear this? I think they used it on us. Oh, no way! <laughs> My throat, it just, it, it hurts really bad. Oh, oh. Okay, oh. keep, keep holding my hand. Um, here, uh, don't let go. Um, oh, here's a wipe. Oh, oh, no, 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 I can see a little. <laughs> uh. Look, three protesters are kneeling in the street. And a policeman spraying them in the face at point blank range? They weren't doing anything! That's not supposed to happen! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, Paige! Oh no! Oh! Paige! Oh, oh my cheek! Oh, 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 what's happening? It hurts! Oh, oh, oh. You've been hit by a rubber bullet! You're, you're bleeding! Yeah. Take my jacket and hold it on your cheek, Paige. Oh! Now? Oh, oh more jacket!
tear gas. Oh my, oh my eyes. Great, great. Where are you? Where did you go? I, I can't see you. Fate. How are you doing? I'm okay. Still kind of hurts a little. Oh, when I couldn't find you. Oh, I know it was. It was so scary. And I'm really sorry. And and now your mom knows. I I went to the march and she is so mad at me. She's blaming me for you getting hurt and all. It's not your fault. I mean, I was going anyway. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm in deep trouble with your mom, and I sure wish it hadn't happened. Yeah, me too. I shouldn't have let you come. Well, I'm glad I did. Racism, it just, it has to go. Things have to change. They do, but Nana, I don't think you should go to any more marches. Ha, huh. well, I am going to keep marching. People and police really need to change their focus. I'll keep marching till, till. You just don't give up, do you? White silence has to end. I will never give up. Hello, hello. Would, would you please connect me to the police community relations department? Thank you. Officer Johnson here, police community relations department. Oh, oh, you, uh, I thought you'd be. Um... <sighs> Uh, white. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I get that a lot. I imagine it gets kind of old. It does. It does. How can I help you? Well, <clears throat> I'm, I'm Mrs. Crankshaw, <coughs> and I want to make a complaint. <clears throat> uh, yes, Mrs. Crankshaw. I'm livid. I was marching for Black Lives Matter last weekend with my granddaughter, peacefully. We were trying to meet up with her friends, Tanisha and Gabby. Uh, did you say Tanisha? Um, I'm not... Yeah. Anyway, and anyway, all of a sudden tear gas was shot into the crowd and, and, and we tried to get away, but the police were coming from both directions and then, then my granddaughter was hit. Not too bad, but still a rubber bullet grazed her cheek. I couldn't believe it. It was uncalled for, no reason. I'm sorry to hear that. Were you following police orders? There weren't any police orders. At least I didn't hear any police orders. You don't think there were any police orders? We didn't hear any orders. We were protesting peacefully. The police were overreacting. The tear gas, oh, we couldn't see and we couldn't breathe. And it was just, oh, it was. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, Mrs. Crankshaw, Mrs. Crankshaw. Uh, I understand your frustration. It's, uh, it's a difficult situation, but not easy for the police either. But you're supposed to protect us. We do protect all involved, but the rioting, destruction of property. Well, now why, why do you come out in military gear? It's like you're in Afghanistan or something. Why, it, it just makes things worse. Police need to be ready for anything, all scenarios, to prevent even destruction of property. We weren't destroying anything. Now, my granddaughter has a wound on her face, and I'm hoping it won't be scarred. I don't think it will, but still, that was... I understand your frustration, Mrs. Crankshaw, and I wish I had answers for you. If you want to file a complaint, you can go to our website. You can do it online. Well, well, can I complain about the federal agents and the U.S. Marshals and Homeland Security while I'm at it? 
Uh, we only handle complaints against our local officers. Uh, those are federal issues. Ah, well, <laughs> Officer Johnson, may I ask you a question? <laughs> yes, but I might not be able to answer it. What's it like being a black police officer? How how do you, how do you do your job and keep going? It's tough sometimes, not always easy. I joined the police force because I wanted to help people. I'm proud of what I do. Would quitting be helpful? I don't think so. We have a lot of challenges, but I'm gonna keep serving. I have to. I appreciate your honesty. I, I know it's not easy, but what happened to my granddaughter, that wasn't right. It just wasn't right. I filed a complaint with the police department. Really? What are they gonna do? I don't know yet. Think it'll make a difference? Not sure. We'll see. I hope it will. Uh, my birthday's coming up, you know. It's, it's July already and August is almost here. Yeah, it's almost here. August 29th. But there are snags. <coughs> Snags? COVID-19. How am I going to get your older brother to the party? Nathan? T to a party? Wait, how are you going to have a party? We'll sit in the backyard six feet apart and wear masks, except when we eat. Sounds kind of hard to do, you know. Well, at least I'll get to see everybody, my family in all. So you want Nathan at the party. First off, he's an hour away. Doesn't have a car. He works at Subway. He's seen dozens of customers every day. No, Nana. I want to see him. Well, I want to see him too. It's been months. He stayed on campus, so yeah, he can't get home. That's the problem, thanks to COVID. Does he have a friend with a car? Ugh, his friends don't believe in owning a car. Well, I, I could drive him in the SUV. It's, it's roomy and wear masks. No, you'd be spending two hours, four hours round trip, way too close together, in a small space. Nah. Well, I'd be driving, and he'd sit in the back seat behind the front passenger seat. We'd wear masks and keep all the windows open. Uh, it won't work, Nana. It won't pass the mom test. What about renting a car for him? I looked into that. He's not 21. No go. Hmm. Mm. How about Uber? Checked into that. One to two dollars per mile. One round trip would be 120 to 240 dollars. But you love Nathan. Oh, not that much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about how about your 20-year-old Miata with the top down? You'd have lots of air and be wearing masks, so it could work. Maybe, maybe, uh huh, maybe. And maybe grandpa could take him home so you don't have to drive him both ways. Oh, your grandpa is too tall for that car and his eyes are above the windshield. It'd be like he was a dog with his head out the window, only he hates it when the wind hits his eyes. Plus, he hasn't had a haircut in five months. His silver hair would be flying everywhere. That nah, won't work. Hmm. Well, then maybe you should give up on this idea. No, 
I really need us to be together, especially this year with COVID-19 and everything. And I'm aching to see my family. I miss them. It, it's just not the same on Zoom and it never will be. Do you have any idea how much I miss you grandkids? I don't, I don't even know how many more birthdays I have in this world. I get it. I really, I really do, but I, I still think you shouldn't do this. I know. I'll drive my old Miata to his place, pick him up and bring him to the party. We'll have the top down and wear N95 masks the whole way. Then when the party's over, I'll drive him back to his place, drop him off and drive home. Okay, but can you trust that car? It will take all day. I don't care. I want my family to be together for my birthday. I'll do whatever it takes. Where, where's that fan? It's awful hot in here. Now to get mom to agree with it. You know, mom is going through some shit. Er, stuff. Too. I know. I know. She's having a rough time. But how can she not say yes to my plan? If she doesn't like it, she can just stay home. Nana. Uh... I want to drive. No, you have a fever and you're coughing. Why do we have to do this? We have to get you tested. <laughs> it's all right. It's just a cold. How can you say that? Well, I just don't let these things bother me. You've always been that way. What do you mean? I've done the worrying for both of us. Oh, well, it looks like we're moving closer. Huh. Huh. Even if I test positive, we won't get the results for a week. Now, how helpful is that? We need to know. You mean you need to know. Mom, I've got so much going on. I have to start teaching next week in the classroom. Nathan's an hour away doing online classes. Paige is supposed to start at the community college. And Jamie's not even trying to learn anything. It'll be okay. No, it won't. And then you go off to a Black Lives Matter march and almost get Paige killed. Oh, it wasn't my fault. Paige already decided to go to the march. I just followed along. Well, and now you might have COVID because of the march. I still might not have it. Now you're jumping to conclusions. It's mid-August already. I have to get back to work. What if Paige has COVID? What am I gonna do if I get COVID? What am I gonna do if one of my students gets COVID? We're gonna have half our students two days a week, then the other half. On top of that, at the same time, we have to teach online. Some kids don't even have internet access. Oh, you'll be okay. You keep doing this. Never taking my feelings seriously. I hate it. What do you mean? When I was a little girl and was scared or worried, afraid of the dark, you just laughed at me, told me it would be okay. I did? And you just answered, mm-hmm, when I asked you questions, not even hearing what I was asking you. Are you sure? Yeah. Once I asked you about my name, was I named for Melissa Gilbert from Little House on the Prairie, remember? I thought that'd be so awesome. And? And you said, uh-huh, I was so excited. Really? Oh, I told all of my friends, and then later you said it wasn't true. I couldn't believe it. Well, I was so busy. Cooking, cleaning, working, two jobs. I was kind of occupied. 
Yeah, you were. When I was worried, when I first got my period and then it stopped, you drove me to the doctor and stuff. I still didn't even know how a girl got pregnant. Didn't even have a boyfriend or anything, but I thought I might be pregnant. You didn't even come into the clinic. I came out of the office, got into the car and burst into tears. And do you know what you said? I don't, I don't remember. You said, stop crying. That was it. No, oh honey, no, you'll be okay. No hug. I did that? I remember now, I, I didn't know what to say. I, I didn't know how to talk about sex. Well, all I remember was, just be aware of the biological urge. The B-U, you called it. It scared me to death. Well, I thought you learned about it at school. Nope, I didn't. Just learned the names of the body parts. That was it. Oh, honey, I, I had no idea. You glossed over my feelings. You dismissed them. Well, I didn't mean to. I didn't know I was doing that. I, I, I'm sorry. I really, I am. You did the best you could. You tried. Let's see where we are in line. I, I can't handle another crisis, you know? School's about to start. The governor says we have to be in the classroom, no exceptions. Well, how can he do that? He just can. I'm at the end of my rope. Ah, uh, you can do it. Mom, I know you believe in the power of positive thinking, but it doesn't work in this situation. I've got no time to collaborate with the other teachers, no contact whatsoever. And Jamie's at home supposedly taking some of his classes online. It should be okay. Well, it's not okay. He can turn off the video, look like he's still in class and play video games on his phone all day long. And now you might have COVID. A temperature and a cough doesn't mean I have COVID. You're not listening to me. I do listen to you. It doesn't seem like it. You know, I read somewhere that that during this pandemic, families should try to work together to, 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 to work as a team. And? And I, I'm sorry, Melissa. I'm sorry that I didn't listen to you, that I didn't have more empathy for you. I, I, I just didn't know. I, oh. It's okay, mom. No, it's not okay. I think I just wanted everyone to be happy. It was like I was allergic to sadness and anger and I just wanted those feelings to go away. I think I thought maybe, maybe if we didn't talk about them, you wouldn't feel so bad. Yeah, I know. I missed out on a lot of your life. You did, mom. I, I sure hope. I don't have it. Melissa, I'm going to do better. I promise. You promise? Promise. We're in this together. <laughs> can you ever forgive me? <laughs> I can forgive you. I love you, Mom. I love you too, Melissa. <laughs> oh, looks like we're next in line. Happy birthday, Nana! August 29th, you made it. The background, the backyard looks great. I can tell you spend a lot of time out here. Those new plants and lots of chairs. Oh, thanks, Paige. Yeah, I really wanted it to be nice. I, I'm so excited to be with my family. I've missed them so much. And guess what? <gasps> Nathan's here! He'll be out in a minute. He's in the bathroom. I can hardly wait to see him. It's been so long. Oh, too long, too long. You got your wish too for your party. So what do we need to do to get ready? Well, could you put the hand sanitizer out on the table? 
Now look away while I hand it to you. Keep your arm out stretched. You got it? Uh, absolutely. Uh, On the table. Everybody's bringing their own drinks. Keeps it safer that way. Do I need to get the latex gloves? Maybe, but if we all keep our hands sanitized, we should be good. Some people are even bringing their own gloves. Yeah, and their own drinking glasses. And their own food to stay safe, you know. Yeah. Oh, but I'm so glad my test turned out negative. Oh, I'm so grateful for you. I still don't have my test results. Should have been here by now. Hmm. Hey, could you set out the chairs and, and here's a yardstick and measure everything, okay? Six feet apart, okay? Perfect. Well, I know, I know, six feet apart. Do you think your mom will come? Mm, not sure. She wasn't too happy about you driving to pick up Nathan. Oh, well, we wore our masks and we kept the top down. It was all perfectly safe. Well, you know how mom worries. Yeah. Plus, she's got software problems for her classroom. She got trained on it for the first time like two weeks ago. She's been working on that too, so yeah. Oh, unbelievable. I, I, I just... I bet parents don't know how to use it either. They must be tearing her, their hair out. Oh, totally. Living at my house right now is... Ugh. Oh, it's got to be hard on everybody. Everybody in the family. Yeah, mom's really trying to help all of us. Wait, wait a minute. Who, who's that? You look familiar. Oh! It's Tanisha's dad. What the heck? Officer Johnson? Oh, how the, oh, hello. It's really nice to see you. Paige, how did you get Officer Johnson here? He's Tanisha's dad. I, I told her about your birthday and she was so excited. And then Tanisha and I, we got this idea that her dad could come to the party. How did you? Tanisha and me. Tanisha and I put two and two together and we figured it out. When you called the police community relations department, it was Tanisha's dad you talked to and Tanisha figured it out. <laughs> I hope I'm not intruding. Oh no, no, not at all. I am so pleased that you're here. Uh, well, Tanisha, she's parking the car. She'll be here soon. I hope it's okay. Of course it's okay. Oh, welcome, welcome. Six feet apart, though, okay? Elbow bump? Sure, elbow bump. <laughs> you know, I really appreciated your call. You did? You were respectful, upset, but respectful. See, Nana, like you tell me to be kind and stuff? Oh, look! What? What? It's mom! <gasps> oh, Melissa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you made it, you made it, you really, you really came. I can't tell you what this means to me. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mom. I wish I could hug you. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I have a present for you. It's in this bag. Huh? Oh, well, what could it be? Well, here it is. Open it. Well, why does it take so long to unwrap a present when everybody's watching? What? Oh, that's just a piece of paper. What could it be? Well, read it, Mom. Oh, it says my, my COVID-19 test shows no evidence of the virus. It is negative. I don't have COVID-19. Oh. Oh, if I could only hug you. I, I just want to hug all of you. Oh, thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Paige. Officer Johnson, you've just witnessed a miracle. This might be the best birthday I've ever had.